All right, so it's been a while since we made a video. It's been like six days, I think, actually. Yeah, rest in pepperoni. Um, after Hour Supply Co. was just here, and we failed to film a video with them because we're lazy, stupid idiots. We? <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to film a video today on some stupid stuff because I had this in my brain for a while and want to fulfill my fantasies. Um, but check this out. Boom. Yeah, so Mason from After Hours, same guy who does like all our shirts and stickers and stuff, made these up for me. And all of them from After Hours, they stayed at my house the last couple nights. So this morning before they left back for Canada, Mason stuck this bad boy on my door. Both he also doors. stuck another bad boy on this door. So yeah, pretty sick. You gonna nice. put a number there or something? Nah, I think I'm gonna put like the, uh, the like no good racing like like finger thing. That, like if you don't understand why I put a big fucking number plate on my door, it's because like the Conjo Civics and shit, they would run number plates because they were track cars. They just go beep down the freeway and race each other. I have these old wheels that the Corolla came on when I bought it. Some just like ugly ass fake weird wheels that are way too big for the Corolla and the thieves that stole it just threw them on there and put one lug nut on him. Look at the master balancing act. <laughs> stacks on stacks on stacks. Uh, yeah. We googled this uh, wheel company. We didn't want to fucking cook some nice Yeah, wheels. we didn't like find out that these are like some rare JDM shit. Uh, we googled the wheel company and they're like one of those companies that makes like those nasty ass like shiny like wheels for like trucks and stuff. I originally was going to use these. But DJ was like, no, those are kind of cool. And I was like, yeah, they are kind of cool. Um, they're stock Crested wheels and I can use them for like drift spares or something. So I went and found these. So we're just gonna throw them on and drive around and see what happens. Oh, with no tires. Yeah. <laughs> so before we get into this, I'm gonna show you guys what I did a couple days ago with Riley and Maurice. Got a radio in this bitch. <laughs> Mixing purple with your purple spray. It's not like crazy bumping, but and the exhaust is really loud, so when I get like a new exhaust that's not so loud. You'll be able to hear it? Yeah. This might be the smartest idea. Honestly, like this is fulfilling a lot of curiosity that's been deep in my brain for a long time. <laughs> but like like all the drift events that I've ever been to where someone debeads or blows a tire, I'm like, yeah, it's totally fine, right? Like <laughs> but this is a fairly light car anyway, right? Like, oh shit. Uh, need tuner keys? Tiny boys. I think you need tuner nut. Well. Well, rest in peace, Crested Wheels. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the lug nuts actually fit in these ones. Yeah, these are cool. The coolest lame thing I've ever seen. Yeah. We're like a Mr. Beast video. $100 tires versus zero. I don't know. You know, like, yeah. we're like, today we're going to shred these bad What bitties. happens when you drive a car without tires? Yeah. Just shooting for that trending spotlight. <laughs> like, oh, this one's going to hit a million views. No problem, guys. Dang, that looks pimping, dude. What if it's going to be too low? For what? The tire's gonna hit? Like, no, <laughs> no, like the exhaust or something. Oh yeah, I don't know. This is kind of like when everybody like gets new wheels and they mock up their fitment, just see what like, see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Except for, we're actually gonna drive away on it. <laughs> Dude, you gotta do a burnout. I know. I wanna do some fucking donuts or something. <laughs> I'm, honestly, I'm afraid of how bad it's gonna hurt the... Yeah. It's probably gonna dig, like, channels in the fucking cement. So if it does really bad, then yeah, don't do, like, a sick burnout or anything, but... I wanna see some sparks today. <laughs> Let's take it on the street. Take it on the street! So, is it illegal to drive without tires? <laughs> <laughs> probably not in America. <laughs> Both our tires blew up. We ran over some glass, and they just totally hurt their car now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they went. <laughs> Some tough class. Dude, those look like rally wheels. I know, I keep thinking like they're pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> you getting it right in the, in the spot? Pointer finger and the thumb. <laughs> That's my technique. <laughs> Alright, here's where we find out if the car's gonna be too low or not. God, this is honestly fucking nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm afraid of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we can put it on like a block or something. Oh, the wheels, yeah. And then drive off the block. Oh, God, that's going to be such an impact driving off of that. It didn't split the wood. That's good. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm genuinely roll. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever need like a leg amputated. Yeah, just stick it under there. Yeah. I have an ingrown toenail. Maybe we could chop that off today. I got a fucked up finger that you want gone. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, true. Let's see if it starts. See, yeah, maybe it won't start without tires. <laughs> Some 80s safety equipment. Will the car start without tires? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it will. When you spun it that one time, it left a mark, and that's it. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. It's so loud. It's louder than your exhaust for yeah. once. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> on the phone. Oh! Oh my god! He just hit a... He just ran straight over a pothole with no tires. Oh my god! Oh! He's up on one rim on that left. Oh! God. The the road is kind of like A shaped, like it's like that, and so he's driving down the middle of it. And on the left side, there's like he's just riding on like that side of the tire or the wheel. Oh my god, it's fucked. Now there's people coming down the driveway. Oh my god, his dad's here. Uh, it sounds terrifying inside. <laughs> Hop in. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking hectic. It sounds. Oh, oh my god. That is. I'm surprised at like the fact that it's not really hurting the road. Yeah. Like there's a white line, but like, it's line. not bad. Yeah, sick rake. I like the rake. Yeah, go down the very end of the road where like nobody cares. Yeah. You probably don't even need to use the brakes. I know. That's what I was <laughs> so Quentin's gonna line it up over there towards the very end of the road where like nobody drives, nobody really cares with the, if the road gets a little damaged over there. So, and then we're gonna do a burnout. Yeah? You got all that angle. Quite a bit. That is quite a bit. Wait, hold on, let me get on the other side so the camera can see. It's really dark over here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just like looking, just cutting a chunk into the road. Come look at it. There's just metal, sh <laughs> there's just metal shaving. Like it's so great. It looks oh like, my God. oh, it's like cheese. It just got hot and just started melting off onto the road. There was like, there was some sparks, but I don't think the camera could see it because it was like inside where it's dark. Oh my God. Was it super loud? 
Yeah, it was pretty loud. <laughs> well, honestly, I was just scared that a chunk would come off and hit me. <laughs> yeah, you should try to get a little bit of speed, like, down here, and then just hit the brakes and, like, see if it, just see what it does. Or pull the e-brake. I <laughs> pull the e-brake? Yeah, the, it'll be the one time your e-brake works. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> he honestly did nothing except just put some nice chalk lines down the street. It locked up like as soon as you, like did you pull the e-brake? Yeah. Yeah, it just locked up instantly. It locked up all the way down there. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Quentin went back to the future. <laughs> Wait, actually that's hilarious. Quentin, ha Quentin has a two-way and he's open diffing with no tires. All right, go again. <laughs> On camera, it looks like it just stopped, but it's spinning so fast. Like, he just hit limiter in first gear. It's just, there's just aluminum confetti on the ground back there. Probably enough. Yeah, let's go <laughs> inspect the damages. Dude, it's just metal shavings. It's like it's like industrial waste. We dug a little bit of a hole right oh, yeah. there. Oh yeah. Spicy, <laughs> spicy metal. It's like you could put this on your Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> That sound is no longer so bad. <laughs> the end of an era that lasted about 25, 30 it minutes. It was the loudest era, dude. Yeah, this is the loudest era ever. <laughs> Rolls off into the sunset. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> okay, I stopped filming and put down the camera, but I had to start again because this thing is still going. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That thing just went forever. <laughs> Notice how when you drop it, it doesn't go quick. <laughs> That's cool. That's one of my favorite features about yeah. this car. New mod. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the, all the anxiety is gone now. <laughs> yeah. Next, we should do it on this. <laughs> on the 240? <laughs> You're next to it. That's like 80. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but dude. Dude, she dusty. This baby's definitely been to park. <laughs> yeah, it's been to park and not washed since. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I took it to park and then brought it back here and put it under there and haven't touched it. Anything broken on it that needs to be fixed before the next drift event? Nope. Hell yeah. Nothing left to fall apart on this bitch. Yeah. No, she's just rock solid. For real though, it's never driven better than it has right now. She's, it's all roll cage now. I the know. whole car is a roll cage. That's awesome. So that's pretty much it for this video, but before we end it, uh, we're gonna go to the bank real quick to grab some cash and on the way, I'm gonna let Quentin drive the Civic and he's gonna fucking rip it. He's gonna do third gear rolling burnouts in this bitch. Foot on the floor, buddy. Foot on the floor and there's 45 miles an hour. That's not even a joke. Like, wow, I'm not that's crazy. It's so slow, right? Now you understand why I don't want to race your 8.6. Dude, my 8.6 is a fucking rocket ship compared to this. <laughs> and that young, so 70 horsepower at the crank in 1988. Never experienced something so slow. <laughs> Dude, I know. It's it's kind of fun though, because you can just drive it literally foot on the floor yeah. at all times, and all you're doing is keeping up with traffic. <laughs> that's funny. That's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed our stupid antics in my driveway today. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Thanks for watching. Also, we got new merch coming soon. We were talking about it with Mason, and pretty much everything's ready to go. We just need to like take product shots and stuff. So, cool. thanks for watching. <laughs>